In this video, we're going to be using Python's turtle module to draw ourselves a heart shape. To get started on this heart shape today, we are going to open up Python and make ourselves a new file. And the first line of code that we need to type in is simply import turtle. So we're importing the turtle module, which will allow us to draw on the screen. Uh, next thing we're going to do is going to change the color of the window that appears when we run this code. So we'll just write turtle.bg color, which stands for background color. In quotation marks and inside brackets, we'll write the word black. All right. The other thing we're going to do is just write turtle.pen size and set it to 2. So it's just a little bit thicker than usual. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to create something called a function. Now a function is a small piece of code that can be used over and over again. Okay, it just saves us having to write that piece of code um, numerous times. Okay, you'll see how it works when we actually get it made. So the first thing we need to do is make the function. So we're going to define the function by writing def and we come up with a name for this function. I'm going to call it curve. We open and close a bracket and then make a colon. And when we press enter you'll see that your mouse cursor has become indented. Okay, so what we're going to do now is write the code for this function. And it's going to be a loop. It's for i in range 200 then we do a colon. Now inside of the loop, we're just going to do turtle.write, set it to 1, and then turtle.forward, and set that to 1. Now if you haven't worked out by now, what we're doing is making the curve in the heart shape. Okay, so if we just jump back over to our example, the curve around here is what we're making now. Okay, and because we've got two curves, that's the reason we are making the function. It will save us writing the same code twice. Okay, so that is our function for the curve all done. So you can press enter a couple of times and backspace your mouse cursor back to the left side of the screen. Now the next thing we're going to do is just we're going to, just going to set the speed of the turtle to zero. That means the drawing um, will have no animation. It will just appear, appear on the screen as quick as possible. And then we're going to set the color of our heart. So turtle.color and first color that we write in is the border color, so we're going to choose red for that. And then the second color is the fill color, so we'll write pink for that. Make sure you've got quotation marks around those two colors. All right, so coming down onto the next couple of lines, we're just going to write turtle.begin fill. The turtle.begin fill function simply means that the shape that we're about to draw is going to be filled in with color. Okay, I'm going to start with turtle.left. 140 degrees and then we're going to move the turtle forward so turtle dot forward and we're going forward 111.65 um, and then we're going to call up our curve uh, function that we created before so all we need to do is write the word curve bracket bracket and what that does is it comes back up the top here and finds the function called curve and it runs the code inside of it so this couple of lines here okay I'm going to go down, I'm going to do the other side of the heart here, so we'll go turtle.left, set it to a 120 degree angle. We're going to call the, oops, we're going to call the curve function again now, so we've just written this curve bracket bracket again, and what that is going to do is going to come back up here and just run all the code inside the curve function. That saves us writing it twice. Um, after that we're just going to do turtle.forward, set it to 111.65 again and then turtle dot end underscore fill bracket bracket that will just stop us filling in any more color and we'll also hide the turtle so turtle dot hide turtle remember the turtle is just a little arrow um, on the screen okay so we'll hide that we'll press control s to save so I'm pretty sure this is all the code we are going to need we're just going to call it heart and then go up to run and run that module. I'll press F5 with the shortcut. Okay, so this is the curve function being written just there. And then the curve function again over there. It should connect up again here almost instantaneously. And we'll have ourselves a pink heart with a red border.